let's do the gastroc, okay? Again, I'd have the shoe up. By the way, when you do gastroc soleus stretches, always take the shoe up. How are we looking, V? Perfect. Thanks. Is it running? Yeah. Just making sure. I'm right. Hey, double check. Right? I thought that was a pun. I thought that was a pun. No, 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 I wasn't giving a hot dog. Oh, nice. Alright, so again, uh, I'm just going to take, can, I, can we take the shoe off? I can't do it. I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right. Okay. So, do the foot facing the camera? I'll just do it this way. You can see, right? Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. It doesn't matter because you really can't see motion. I would rather it in that angle. You like what we're doing here? Yep. So again, it's calcaneal distraction. It's the gastroc stretch. It's talus mode, posterior. I'm getting into it. Tell me when you feel it. Can I go any more? Okay, tell me when enough's enough. Okay. So how long do I hold this stretch? What's the next step? So the muscle I'm stretching, I now want it to isometrically contract. So push your toes into my forearm, just nice and easy. Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Now my next cue. Help me bring your toes to your knee, which is contracting which muscle? anterior tib, which will do what to the gastric soleus? And you get more motion. Beautiful. It's the same process for every muscle group, guys. But let's get a little bit deeper, and this is why I wanted to videotape it, because I want you to get the thoughts. All right. I want to talk you through every single step. When you do the stretch, you do the stretch. That makes sense. So one more time. Do the stretch. Again, the why is right, Andrew, you're my why girl. I'd like to know why, right? Damn it. I know. They just started last week. Andrea is the where and when girl. Educate girl. For the same girl. The secretary. <laughs> for the sake of the next few quarters, can you just switch up names? Does that work yeah, for you? I'll Probably. <laughs> Alright, so the stretch is the stretch, right? Answer me this. What's the next step after I do the 30 second stretch? Push me into the forearm. Now you contract the muscle that you're stretching, right? So we do the isometric. So push into my hand, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Why do I do that isometric contraction? What's the point of it? One, it tires the muscle out a little bit. Super. Why else do I do it? This is a trickier one. That's the whole reason we do these techniques, but specifically neurologically, awareness. awareness. Guys, it's easier to relax a muscle that you're contracting than it is to relax a muscle that's already kind of relaxed. So I do the stretch, then I have him contracted. Go ahead, push into my hand. So he's contracting his gastrox now. He knows it's contracting. So when I now say relax, go ahead, relax, he knows what to relax. Now help me bring your toes towards you. So we do the isometric contraction, one, to tire the muscle out a little bit, but two, to bring awareness to the muscle we want to relax. Now, the next step is what? After the isometric. It's relax. Don't forget to relax. Then it's help me do the stretch. So what's that contracting? The antagonist. Why? Why does contracting the antagonist make it a better stretch? It cancels out the gastric soleus. Gastric soleus shuts off. Yep. And then it also helps you. I mean, it helps increase dorsiflexion, so you get more of a stretch. This is the rationale behind this whole technique. Now, what do you think the the evidence says about using this technique? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. So um, I'm going to ask you to look in the book, and I'm going to give you the actual page number that talks about the evidence. So some studies say that this is a superior stretch. Some studies say that it's, it doesn't matter. I use these stretches for patients who are fighting me. So if, if I'm stretching somebody and they're kind of fighting back at me, I go through this whole process. So use this for us. Yeah, Russ would be a perfect person to use this for. Because you, you have trouble relaxing. So if I can get you to contract the muscle, I want you to relax. You become aware of it, and you're more apt to relax it. 
I use these techniques for patients who have pain. Your total knee replacements, who are fighting you because they don't want their knee to move, I use this technique. Yep, you, your folks who muscle guard, Amanda, those folks are the ones. I got I, 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 I don't know why I started last week. Anyway, what I want you guys to do is this. I'd like you to practice this technique. Do the iliopsoas in the Thomas test position. Okay. Do the hold, relax, agonist, contract to it. Try the biceps. What's the tricky thing about the biceps when you do this technique? It's multiple joints. So to do the hold, relax, agonist, contract, when you do the isometric, I don't care, just pick one of the motions. Maybe have them you know, supinate. You don't need to do all three things, it's too complicated. So try the iliopsoas, try the biceps, see how you guys do, okay?